Chapter 4 Z is here. Hey everybody, Jason the AVP Wargamer here with an awesome unboxing video. Um, I just got my Kickstarter pledge from the uh, the fellows over at Studio Miniatures uh, with a World or uh, a Turf War Z um, game release. So um, yeah, so let's go over everything and show you what's what we have. So this is the uh, the rule book for Turf War Z. And this is a, a, a skirmish war game. So you have small gangs fighting against each other in the zombie apocalypse. And uh, these are for uh, pewter uh, 28 millimeter miniatures. So I'll just flip through this rule book really quick, kind of show you. Everything's laid out very clean and easy to read. Nice big text, full color. Now the one thing I like about this company is that the characters are all TV and movie inspired, um, and you can tell by the by the sculpts and by the imagery in this. So if you're looking for um, a alternative sculpts uh, for some of your favorite kind of zombies, like you got your Bill Murray inspired zombie there from a uh, um, from the movies, and then you know Walking Dead. Uh, Scarface, etc., etc. Lots of fun stuff. I really like how simple the layout is in this book. It really shows you, you know, what everything is. It's pretty easy to pick out everything. If you're a fan of Predator 2, you got the Rasta Gang, which would be great if you want to do a Predator 2 kind of feel. LAPD. I love me some cop miniatures for sure. Got your survivors. Your average citizen kind of folk. There's a nice big spread of some police fighting against some zombies. Some iconic characters. Ah, uh, the Dread King. This is the one I was most excited for. Have a neat little map of 2048 LA during the zombie apocalypse. All right, so there you go. So there's a Turf War Z book. Now let's get into the miniatures. So everybody likes the Special Forces team, so I'm going to show you these ones first. Um, these guys are inspired by the team in the movie Predator. Now... The one thing I really like about Studio Miniatures in this particular Kickstarter is the heads of all these guys are separate. So if you wanted to use these heads for like a conversion for something else, you could. Um, I'm also part of the Facebook group, um, AVP Wargamer. And uh, a lot of people are wondering um, how these compare to those. So if you have the Unicast uh, second edition Predator or Alien vs. Predator models, you can see these are a perfect scale with the 28 millimeter second edition. However, if you have the 32 millimeter, you're obviously going to have some size difference. It's not enough to really bother me, but like, yeah, if you put the head on that guy, you know, it's not too much shorter, but you can see there is a, a, a size comparison. Again, with miniatures, you're never going to get the scale exact because you have to overemphasize the size of their heads and all that kind of stuff. True 28 millimeter is ridiculously small. So, you know, obviously these are going to be exaggerated um, in their um, um, life size comparisons. So, um, yeah, so I, I don't really sweat about that kind of stuff. 
All right, here we go. Next gang. These are the Yakuza gang. We're going to check them out. So we have this kind of Lucy Liu inspired character. There's another Asian gang member. Then we have a bunch of suits. And again, the heads are separate, so if you're looking for just some suits, there you go. There's a bow. Some more suits. And in weapons, you have bow and arrow, you got guns, you got knives, you got Gurkhas. Got machine gun. So you got a variety of stuff there. Now if you want to do Hanzo from the movie Predators, you can easily take one of these heads, give him the samurai sword and the suit, and there you go. You got Hanzo from Predators. Alright, there you go. Next, let's check out the LAPD. Rebag these guys so I don't lose their parts. So lots of bits. Very fun. And these are the, the big slot of bases, so you're gonna have to really fill these up with some green stuff or some putty. Um, or just change the bases out. Alright, LAPD. Do you feel lucky, punk? Well, do ya? <laughs> this is a really good miniature. That's awesome. He's a little bit taller than these guys, too. So, that's pretty neat. Alright, let's see who else we got. There's a commission or Gordon looking character. And then we have a variety of police officer bodies. Mm, lots of police officers. Those are awesome. Very nice detail. And if you like converting and model building, these kits are amazing. Look at all these different options you got. This is all in pewter, so you're going to want to get your super glue ready. So there's all your LAPD weapons. Now for your heads, and again, if you're looking for converting, even if you're doing 40k miniatures and you want some unique heads, like these would easily replace heads on Space Marines. Got your riot shields. I love me a SWAT team with riot shields. I really do. If you have a bunch of uh, horror clicks or hero clicks, um, these SWAT team guys would fit in well with those as well. All right, now we're gonna go to some of the exclusives here. I think these are exclusives, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, we got a flying base. So this is plastic. There. You have this weird bat wasp zombie girl thing. I'm not exactly sure if this is inspired by anything in particular. It looks kind of like an Asian horror kind of monster. Oh, we got some nice fatties here. Oh. If you're playing Zombicide, these would make great abominations. All bloated and nasty. Could even use those for Nurgle if you're into that sort of thing. Here's your revolutionary. Everybody knows who that is. And again, this guy's a lot taller too. So if you were to, again, compare to 
like this, you know, he's a little bit shorter than the 32 millimeter, but he, he does tower over some of these 28 millimeters by a little bit. Actually, no, that's about right. 28 millimeter. That's good. All right. Put those bad boys in here. And the last but not least gang that I got was the Rasta gang. Now, there are bikers and other gangs in Turf War Z. I wasn't able to back for all the gangs. But these ones I am the most excited for. First, I want to take a look at this guy here. <laughs> look at that guy. <laughs> that guy's amazing. He's got the machete and the machine gun. Yaman, yeah, truly dread. Here's a bunch of Rasta bodies. Now these would work good for black gangers too. Um, if you're looking for guys with bling, all these dudes are blinged out. There's another one. Um, all right, lots of heads. Let me kind of untangle this. Is that a fire axe? Yep, that's a fire axe. Okay. Here's some of the Rasta heads. So you get two sets of those. Those are great. I have some uh, human survivors that were plastic from, um, I think it was Warlord Games. These are about the right size. So if you have other plastic bits, they'd match up pretty well. This is a nice shotgun. I'm always looking for bit options. And here's the Dread King. Yes. I want him to fight the predator and get his head ripped off. <laughs> Ah, oh, I just love this model. That is so cool. King Willy wants to talk to you. I cut your head off, buddy. Yeah, that was very nice. Very nice. I'm going to compare it to some... Uh, um, here's some Devil's Run models. That's perfect size for Devil's Run. These are the 28 millimeter Devil's Run models. I think here's some cops that'll go good with my cop gang. So pretty good, pretty good. I am impressed. Good job, Studio Managers. These are beautiful. Whoa! Don't want to drop these everywhere. Okay, get all my Rastas and check. And you got the, the option to pose them any way you want, which is always appreciated. Now, let's take a look at some of their plastic zombies. Now, here's your, just some generic plastic zombie bits. So you got, you know, your zombie heads right there. Let's focus in. There we go. So just standard zombie bodies. Nothing too fancy. And they sent me um, two boxes of those. So if you're looking for a million zombie models, just get just get this set, and then get all the um, the zombicide sets, and you'll have so many zombies you won't know what to do with. All right, here's some uh, some scatter train. These are really neat. All right. So we got yourself a couch with a bunch of barrels and stuff like that. So this will need a little bit of cleanup and a little bit of washing. You can feel the mold release on this. So, you know, it's always good if you have any resin or plastic models to give them a good wash first. Ooh, here's some crates with some guns on them. That reminds me of when the Colombians were getting eaten by the predator 
in the in the Predator movie. You can have these kind of like stacked around. Here's a couple of dumpsters. Oh, actually, a dumpster and a phone booth. Very nice. And some barrels. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Apologize, this is on my cell phone, so it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, so these are a little sticky from the mold release, but just wash them off, they'll be fine. All right, and then we have a bunch of counters. Some infection counters, shaken, body leg. I'm sure I'll know what these do after I read the rule book. Act. So it's nice to get some nice plastic counters rather than cardboard in this game. So there you go. Um, now for, as a bonus, I'm gonna show you some other miniatures from Studio Miniatures that I picked up. These are in their their horror range. They all came in a bag um, that I bought. Now here's a little, little killer there. that looks like Sam from Trick or Treat. He's one of my favorite characters. I also got these two survivors. Marty! These will be fun. I'm going to have so many Back to the Future reference miniatures after <laughs> all these different Kickstarters that I backed. Um, there's a, another set of these guys, which I'll show you later, um, that I got from a different company. And then when the... Uh, um, the Zombicide Invader stuff comes in. They have a bunch of Rick and Morty and Back to the Future inspired figures. There's good old Indy. Now, Studio Miniatures has the only really good Texas Chainsaw Massacre inspired killers that I've ever seen. I tried to making my, one of my own of these, and it has had turned out too big. These guys are amazing. They'll go good with my Freddy vs. Jason uh, horror clicks. I'll have to show you those later in a separate video once these guys are painted up. And then I had to get this guy. I missed out on the Kickstarter exclusive guy that looks like uh, like this for um, Zombicide. So if you're a Chuck Norris fan, you want a guy that looks like Chuck Norris, this guy is perfect. He looks totally like Chuck Norris. All right, so uh, there you go. So there's my... Um, my unboxing of Tur 4 z I'm going to have to uh, read the rule book and um, play some games and see how it turns out. Um, regardless, I, I love the scatter train. I love the 28 millimeters. I really miss metal miniatures, and I'm really happy to see a company that still works in the white metal. Um, I, I love it. I think these are going to be great. Um, if you're an Aliens vs. Predator The Hunt Begins fan, this is not going to be the right scale for you if you're particular on scale. But for me, it's close enough. I mean, all miniature games are close enough as far as scale is concerned. Um, you know, as long as it's between 28 and 32 millimeter, I think it's fine. So, yeah, check them out. Um, Turf 4Z, great figures. Um, their website's awesome. I'm going to put a link in the description below uh, so you can check out their other stuff. Um, I've bought a lot of stuff from them. And my next unboxing video I'm going to do will have their Medieval Mayhem models. So the next video I'm going to do is going to be about these guys. So I'll show you those later. But for now, uh, that's it for Turf War Z.